Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech. This is my how-to and today we'll be looking at the world anchor and the dimensional anchor. Now let's say you're doing a large scale construction project, you've got lava pumping from a volcano many, many miles away, you've got quarries deep underground and basically you want to keep these things running. Now what happens when you actually leave the chunk? The chunk will deload and your machinery will just stop working and you won't get anything for it. So how do we combat this problem? Well, uh, you've got the world anchor and the dimensional anchor. First, let's have a look at the world anchor. Go to your crafting bench. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need three blocks of obsidian down the middle like so, and then you want to put a gold ingot in every single corner, and then a diamond either side. And there we go, there's your world anchor. Now, let's take that and plunk that down, and that's it. Um, this will basically keep a 3x3 chunk loaded. So, the chunk we're in at the moment, that's what, 64,000 blocks or something like that. It will also keep the adjacent uh, chunks either side of the chunk you're in at the moment currently loaded um, basically it's like having another person online and this will keep all your machinery running at all times um, as long as someone is actually in the game um, it's obviously quite expensive to make so let's go back to the crafting bench and have a look at the dimensional anchor now for this you're going to need one block of iron which you put in the middle and then on either side you put uh, gold ingots now take the dimensional anchor like so Plonk that down. Now right click on it and it brings up this little box here. Now basically at the moment the dimensional anchor is only keeping a one by one chunk loaded. So the chunk you're in, that stays loaded. Now with this one you can actually set it so you can have 3x3, three 5x5, by 7x7 three, by by seven, or 9x9. Nine nine. So you can actually choose uh, the amount of chunks you want loaded. I do recommend though if you don't have a powerful computer, um, try and keep it to a bare minimum so maybe one or two world anchors at best um, this actually might suit you better as well because if you have it down to one by one obviously you're only keeping that one chunk loaded um, and that, that is it basically um, I hope this has been helpful um, of course if any of the information is incorrect or anything like that please do let me know leave a comment um, and uh, thank you very much for watching until next time take care and all the best